all right guys welcome back to another video uh yeah it's been a while been busy a lot of stuff going on but we, what we're going to be looking at today is ps or project slots banking and it's not that super hard or difficult to install it's fairly easy you know what i'm saying so like it it's a new sleep design it's definitely looking way better than you know your default qb cord uh banking so that's a plus and that's pretty much what we want we want you know we want a new look we want a fresh look so with that said let's just go over all of what we got here real quick links will be provided as always yeah no biggie and before we get started before we download let's go over and make sure that we have all the dependencies so on and so forth that we need as we know qb core we're already on that Oxlib. Make sure you have the latest version of Oxlib uh, in order for this to work. If you don't, it will not work. Issues. Yeah. So make sure you have the latest version. Uh, going on installation. Pretty simple. It's a it's a drag and drop resource. It's pretty easy. Download release files. Drag drop resource into your server. Start server through ser You know what I'm saying. And add ps sql yeah so basically add the sql to your database and it's as simple as that it's pretty simple you know what i'm saying it let's have a okay that ain't working <laughs> whatever but yeah it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward uh with that said let's just let's just get it started let's just install it real quick real fast and then have a look at it in game as always you know you could uh this is fine you can just go for the release version it doesn't matter Download your release version. I already have this downloaded, so it's not a problem. All right. Make sure you delete uh, QB banking or any other banking script that you might have in the server. Delete that. Put it in. Simple as that. Uh, now, let's first thing we'll, we're going to need to do is run our SQL. Yep. Once we run our SQL here, I already got it open up here. Make sure you select your, your database, run the SQL. I already did all this, so ignore that. It's not a problem. So make sure you run your SQL. Once that's done, it's as simple as cancel that. It's as simple as starting your server. Yeah, there's one thing I forgot to do before jumping the gun. Let's have a look our, at our config real quick. So over the config real quick so here we have um this is already pre-configured for lb phone for whoever uses that i don't know who does our targeting system we're in qb target if you got ox target doesn't matter we can set that to ox target i think we are using ox target on here if i remember correctly we are using ox target here so let's just those who I don't like typing too much, so I'll just copy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, language and currency, English, USD, whatever. And these are the bank coordinations, uh, coordinates, sorry. So you, this is where you, if you want to set up a custom bank somewhere, you can put the coordinates here. Uh, blip, bank, so on and so forth. Now, the con the pre the, these are the ATM presets, yep. So like, it's like a, a quick, a, a, it's like a quick cash withdrawal. So these are the, the pre-configured amount that is, is, is going to, that's going to be displayed. You know, so if you want to quickly redraw, uh, withdraw like 2000, you can just hit 2000, 5000, 10,000, so on. You can change these numbers, or, you know, around however you want to change them around. And this is basically an uh, animation for when you're opening the ATM, so on and so forth. And these are the ATM models. So if you were to come across some ATMs that are not work, not working, what you want to do is get the prop model ID, and then you can make, you can add it to this list, and it will be up and running in no time. It's as simple as that. Now, with that said, let's just have a look at, let's have a look at it in game real quick. I think my system is lagging already. Now, 
So make sure you target a solid uh, object or area in order for your target to like, you know, be able to interact with the, the targeting option. So here we can see overview of the bank. Uh, do I have cash on me? Let's check if I have, I'm not sure if I do. Plus one, that changes. Oof. Okay, let's uh, let's give ourselves some money real quick. And one, let's go cash. And let's use ourselves like shit ton of money. Okay, no. Access bank. Okay. So we got pay bills uh withdrawal deposit transfer so on and so forth so if you were to do a quick god damn <laughs> i wasn't expecting that that she just put all my money in here what the hell that is i don't think that's what that it's also i, I guess it's quick actions i guess i guess i guess so this is where we set the the amount that we want to deposit. So let's say we deposit five thousand or fifty thousand. Uh, yeah, there we go. We can see the history. Um, if you were to get bills and so on, yeah, it will show. Like it will be on the expenses, so it will show what you what money you used to pay for, you know, items, so on and so forth, or pay a bill. It will be on the expenses here, so that's what it, that is for. And all unpaid invoices will be here for you to, you know, pay up, you know, when you need to, if you whatever you choose to do so. So this is the bills tab. This is the history tab. Uh, withdrawal. Give my my money. Is that fifty? Let's take that. Withdraw. Let's go back to the overview. I did it. Did it. I swear it didn't show up here. Yeah, I don't know why that. Okay, the deposit. As you see, and then we have stats. This is quite interesting. I like, I like the, I like, I like this. I do like this. For those nerds out there who like the whole charts and all that, there it is. Now, one of the most important parts, are one of the best features about this, even though Cubicore do does have it. Uh, last time I checked, it wasn't working. Maybe it is now. I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, why am I putting knock on here? So let's call this test. Let's just call this test one. We can set up our accounts here. Boom. Uh, let's call this baby mama. I don't know what it, my keyboard is doing its own thing today. Whatever. Let's just call it that. So some baby mama drama bullshit and we got more than one all right it's fine it's whatever so let's see we can add people there you go we can add people to the accounts we can delete the account what is this thing okay we can deposit we can withdraw account number copied we can okay and it's, a, it's as simple as that what i if i do have one critique and i was kind of I don't know, maybe I have a high expectations for Project Start, but I was thinking that they would, would have probably added some sort of loan uh, function to the banks. Because I think that, like, I don't know why banks don't have these. For a lot of banks, banking script that is out there, they don't have the options for people to have, like, loans and so on. Go take all loans, whether it's you know by a credit score, whatever it means, but that would be a good idea for people. Who knows? 
maybe someone uh, someone will come out. I, I've seen it before, but I would I would just prefer to see more of it. All right now, let's see here. Let's have a look at our. My shit is lagging too much. Ignore the lag. This is being weird all of a sudden. Okay, ATM. So these are the quick uh, actions that I was mentioning before. If you want to change these, it's as simple as change them right here. So 2,000, 5,000, so on and so forth. It's as simple as 2,000, yeah, it's as simple as that. So let's, uh, the, why is it? We shouldn't have like all my shit right there. Deposit. Card function, maybe they should have a card function, maybe not, I don't know. I don't know. I like, I, I'm the type of, I like details, but this is not, you know, this is a good job either way. But there you go. Transaction be made. Does it show where it was made from? It's just, okay, it doesn't really matter. And there you have it. Uh, Project, our PS, PS banking, my bad. So if you guys wanted a, an alternative banking to QB banking, there you go. It's as simple as that. Oh, and by the way, if you are, I should have mentioned this sooner. I don't know why I didn't. If you are, let's say you're using some, whatever it is, what is phone, what is your phone or some other script that allows you to export, uh, like banking, yeah, sorry, bills. There is a export, here's the export. You can add this to your script whatever script that it may be, whatever billing script, whatever it is, this is the export for it. So everything just will work seamlessly and together. But yeah, there you have it, y'all. And I will try my best. I will try to put out something else, uh, more videos. And I know some of you guys are having issues with OX inventory. And I will say this, okay, it's... OX inventory is no longer supported. I wasn't really not fully supported by QB Core. So if you guys are having issues right now, there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing no one can really do about it apart from the creators, the developers of OX inventory and probably QB Core as in Kakarot or whoever, you know, but yeah leave that alone if i would make a suggestion as to a alternative and that is code m inventory although there are some features some functions that i don't like about it in particular and i have a feeling that a lot of people won't like that either but at the same time if you want to see a video on that let me know it is a paid uh uh resource so keep that in mind it is not free but yes until then i'll see y'all in the next one